This is Dr. Paul Chapman from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Here's something you might want to know. In my previous video, I discussed a big problem for melanoma patients, brain metastases. Until recently, the prognosis was quite bad. Most patients lived less than six months. But I told you about two studies from the recent ASCO meeting in June that reported successful treatment of brain metastases using combination immunotherapy. In those studies, approximately half the patients responded to combination nivolumab and ipilimumab. There was another study of interest on brain metastases. This one treated patients with brain metastases whose melanoma had a BRAF mutation. In about half of melanoma patients, the BRAF gene in the melanoma, but not in the patient, has undergone a mutation that results in the melanoma to grow continuously. BRAF inhibitors have been used with great results, but there has been less experience in patients whose melanoma has spread to the brain. In this study, investigators saw responses in the brain in 50 to 60 percent of patients treated with a BRAF inhibitor called tabrafenib or taflinar, in combination with a MEK inhibitor called trametinib. Even patients who had symptoms and were on steroids responded. Although there is a slightly higher response rate than with immunotherapy, the responses might not last as long, and as a result, there's still debate in the field as to which treatment is better. But for melanoma patients with brain metastases whose melanoma has a BRAF mutation, there are now two treatment choices, combination immunotherapy and combination targeted therapy. The specific choice needs to be individualized based on the patient's clinical situation. There's more to come, but I thought you'd like to know.